Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy, D. Lloyd. So Steve Kyler of Basketball Insiders, he came out on Twitter yesterday and reported that the Boston Celtics may not even offer the New Orleans Pelicans a trade for Anthony Davis. And they're not really too fond right now of pairing up Anthony Davis and Kyrie Irving. Now, is this a surprise? Not really. Not if you've been following what has been happening. I said back towards trade deadline that I don't think this massive offer that the Celtics were supposed to offer the New Orleans Pelicans is going to be there, especially if Kyrie Irving is shaky on whether or not he's going to want to return to the Celtics or not. Because the main offer was going to center around Jason Tatum. If Kyrie Irving is not going to be there, are you really that much more willing to offer a Jason Tatum? I don't think so. So who else do you offer? Sure, you could offer Gordon Hayward, but let's be real. Is that what the Pelicans are going to want in exchange for Anthony Davis? When you can go right over to the Lakers, you can go right over to the New York Knicks, and you could potentially get a better offer than just a Gordon Hayward. And Steve Kyler also went on to talk about how maybe the Celtics could be planning on a future without both Kyrie Irving and Anthony Davis all together. And we've seen how the Boston Celtics play without Kyrie Irving. To me, they actually played a little bit better. Now, are they championship contenders without Kyrie Irving? I don't think so, at least not yet. The young guys are going to have to take a few more steps forward before that is actually the case. But long term, I think for the Boston Celtics, you're doing the right thing by focusing on the future without Kyrie Irving. You don't know if he's going to be there or not. If he decides to come back, that's great. You have Kyrie, then you could go about your business. Maybe then you could trade some of the young guys for Anthony Davis. If he decides to leave, you're doing the right thing by not mortgaging your future. Because the worst thing you could do right now, trade away your young guys. Kyrie Irving leaves. Yes, you have Anthony Davis, but you don't have a team that's really built around him. You don't really have nothing else there. And then Anthony Davis could still leave after one year, and you could potentially end up with nothing. So, is the offer going to come? I'm sure they might make an offer. Is it going to be the big offer that people kind of hyped it up to be? Multiple year draft picks, all the young guys? No, I still think the best trade offer is going to come from the Los Angeles Lakers. And if they just refuse to trade them to a conference um, rival, then the New York Knicks could potentially try to come in with that third overall draft pick. But you guys let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below. Do you think the Boston Celtics should continue to pursue an Anthony Davis trade, especially with Kyrie Irving kind of, you know, in limbo in terms of what is he going to do? Or do you go all out and do you get him? You guys let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.